to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. I'm just having a little bit of a tidy up while Small's trying to make a boat. <laughs> I've got it, Ben. I've made my boat out of lollipop sticks and the sail out of paper. Brilliant. Shall we see if it sails? OK. <laughs> oh, Ooh. it won't float. <laughs> Come on, Small, we've got a customer. Maybe that'll take your mind off your boat making. I'm on my way! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Well, I never. What, Small? Who is it? Give me a clue. Well, you know I was trying to make a boat, Ben. Yes? It's Sam the sailor. He sails a boat. Oh, goodness me, a sailor. Oh, I hope he hasn't brought his boat with him. They're really big, aren't they? <laughs> of course not. Where would he park it? Oh, well, I don't know. He certainly couldn't park it in the cafe. It's too small. He must be very hungry. What can we cook for Sam the sailor? I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, Sam the sailor was sailing back into harbour after a long voyage. He worked on a big, big ship. There were lots of sailors on the ship. Some looked after the engines that turned the propeller and pushed the ship through the water, and some steered the ship. Eventually, his boat journey ended. But he couldn't bear to be away from the sea. So, he bought himself his own little boat to sail around in. When he returned to harbour, he couldn't wait to climb aboard. But Sam the sailor didn't know how to make it go. He'd only been on big ships with engines. When he turned the steering wheel, nothing happened. On board, he found a piece of material rolled up on the deck. It was getting windy, so he wrapped himself up to keep warm. Then he had another idea of how to get the boat to sail. He tied a rope to his waist, jumped in the water and pulled the boat along. But soon he got tired of swimming, so he got back in the boat and dried himself with the big piece of material. Then it started to rain. Never mind. At least he had his big piece of material to shelter under. When I saw Sam, I told him straight away what he had been doing wrong. That big piece of material was a sail. It didn't take me long to show Sam how to put the sail up. The wind started blowing and filled the sail. It was pushing the sailing boat along faster and faster. Ah, said Sam. This boat uses wind for power. Not engines. Well, fancy that. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Well, butter my toast. <laughs> For a sailor, he didn't know very much about sailing. Way! He does now, though. He's always out in his little boat sailing around the bay. He's probably out there now. <laughs> no, Small. Right now, he's in our cafe waiting for something to eat. Oh, what can we cook for him? Hmm. Oh, uh, we can... Uh. <gasps> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. <laughs> Look at this, Small. Of course, just the thing. Jolly jelly boats. Our sailor will love them. 
Come on, Small, read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need yoghurt. OK, over we go, in the fridge. Here we are. Yoghurt, got it! An orange. Oh, right. Over in the bowl, got the orange. Paper. In the cupboard. There we go. Paper. Straws. Got those too. And jelly. Oh, lovely wobbly jelly. Got it. Here we are. Over we go. There. Everything we need to make jolly jelly boats. We love jelly, don't we, Ben? Oh, yes, we do. Love it. The funny thing is, I don't really know how it's made. Oh, neither do I, Small. Hey, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get everything ready? That's a great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! <laughs> go, Small, go, Small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo-choo! This is a jelly factory. Wibble wobble. Oh, goody. Looks like they're making black currant jellies today. My favourite. Do you know what that is? Let's take a closer look. Oh, these are the moulds that the jelly is poured into. Look, that's the black currant jelly, but it's all running at the moment. Wow, this is a big fridge. The fridge is so cold that it turns the runny stuff into proper jelly. Ooh, yummy! Oh, yes, and then all the jellies are packed ready to go to the shops. This is Stacy. She's making a jelly. She's putting the cubes of jelly into a jug. Now, this looks tricky. You'll need your grown-up helper to pour in the boiling water. Fill the jug right up. You have to stir the jelly and the water until the cubes melt. They disappear. This is where you'll need your grown-up helper again to pour the hot, runny jelly into the mould. And then you pop it in the cold fridge to set. There's the finished jelly. Wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> oh, look. They're having a jelly party with all the different coloured jellies. That looks like fun. Which is your favourite colour jelly? I'd better get back. Bye. Way! That was great. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. <laughs> I saw all the jelly being put into moulds. It was brilliant. And when the jelly was set, it came out going. Jelly on a plate. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on a plate. <laughs> How's it going, Ben? Everything's ready, little cook. Let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big 
cook, and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Jolly Jelly Boats? You do? There was yoghurt, one cup, an orange, one. Jelly, half a packet. Water, 500 millilitres. Straws, two. And paper, two pieces. Whoopee, let's get started. Now, Small, I've already started to make something with these pieces of paper. Oh. They're going to be the sails for our Jolly Jelly Boats. I'm just cutting out the last one now. The sails? They look like the sails I was trying to make for my boat. And the sails in the story. We're going to use them in the recipe, Small. We can't hang around, not when we've got a hungry customer waiting. Of course. What shall I do? Uh, could you draw a nice picture on these two for me, Small? I certainly can. Now my little friend's busy, we can get on with making our jolly jelly boats. First of all, we need some orange juice. Now, I've already cut the orange in half. That's a job for grown-up helpers to do. And I'm going to squeeze the orange on here to get out all the juice. There we go. Nice and hard. Round and round it goes. And abracadabra. Off it goes. There's the orange juice. Smashing. We don't throw these oranges away, though. These are going to be our boats. I'm just scrubbing the deck of my boat. It's a bit rough out there today. Now it's time for the jelly. So I'm going to put the jelly cubes into this jug. There we go. Oh, lovely wobbly jelly. There we are. And to that, I'm going to add some very hot water. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because the water is hot, hot, hot. In it goes. 500 millilitres. There. And now let's give it a good stir until all the jelly has melted. That means there's no lumps or bumps in it. And I'm going to keep stirring until it's all dissolved. Oh, yes. These are going to make great sales. So now we balance our oranges on top of two cups. There they are. And our jelly's ready now. It's all dissolved and has cooled down a little. So, let's pour it in. There's one up to the top. And the other one, nice and slowly. And remember, this is another job for grown-up helpers to do. And all we do now is wait. You've forgotten something, haven't you? Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, you have. What? Fridge. Oh, <laughs> fridge, of course. They need to go in the fridge for two hours. <laughs> Silly me. Come on, let's take them over. There we are. And in the fridge they go. Two hours. There. All done. Right. That's the jelly boats on their way. Now we need something for them to float on. Yes, we do, Small. So, I'm going to pour the yoghurt into the bowl with the orange juice. In it goes. Oh, lovely and creamy. And you can add a few drops of food colouring to make the sea go all blue. Very carefully. Just one little drop. There we go. And mix it round. Round and round we go. Oh, round and round. Look at that. Lovely blue sea. Give it a little bit more of a mix-up. Very nice. And that's everything. So now, all we need to do is pour it onto a plate. Nice and slowly. Round it goes. Very good. A little bit more. And there we have a lovely yoghurt sea for our jelly boats to sail on.
Hey, what are you doing, Small? Oh, <laughs> I thought I'd go for a paddle, Ben. In yoghurt? <laughs> I don't think you'd like that much, Small. Besides, it's for our boats. Oh! <laughs> there we are. Very good. There we go. Lovely wibble wobble wibble wobble jelly boats. <laughs> How are those sails coming along, Small? <laughs> Nearly done. Come on, Small, pass it up. There you go, Ben. Oh, thanks, Small. That looks great. And I've just put a straw through this sail. So I'm just going to quickly take a little bit off the bottom with a pair of scissors to make it that little bit shorter. There we go. Sails are ready. And I've also just cut our orange jellies in half. This will make our brilliant jolly jelly boats. In go the sails. One there. And one there. Hoo hoo, this looks scrummy. And all we have to do now is pop them onto our lovely blue yogurt sea. Hooray! A meal fit for a sailor. We'd better pop it through quick, Ben. Sam the sailor will be getting very hungry. Jolly jelly boats coming through. In they go. There we are. Whew! All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha, here comes the plate Hey! Sam the sailor certainly keeps his plate ship shape. And look, Small, there's a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, I heard you were having trouble making a boat that would float. I enjoyed my jolly jelly boat so much that I thought that you would enjoy this. Oh, look! Hoo-hoo! There you go, Small. Thanks, Ben. At last, a boat! But will it float? <gasps> My boat afloat! Brilliant! See you See soon! You soon. Cook for everyone! 